What's up YouTube? Welcome to a liquor review. I have not done a liquor review in a long time, but today we're going to be taking a look at Bullet Bourbon Orange Label coming in at 40% alcohol by volume. My camera angle and the lighting is not perfect because I still haven't found my tripod through the process of moving and stuff like that, so just bear with the quality. Well, without any further ado, I guess I'll get on with that pour and see what we smell. And we're just going to use my beer glass for today. As you can see, it has that nice copper color that's very notorious with bourbons. I'm going to give it a nice smell right away you get that bourbon malt in the background you get kind of a sour smell coming out a little bit of spiciness the smell kind of gives you a tale of what the actual taste is going to be so without any further ado i'm going to go for that taste i got a bag of ice here so we can kind of water it down a little bit see how it tastes in that way It's a little bit of a kick to it. It's a very spicy bourbon. A little bit of a bitterness to it. But kind of more like a sour. You definitely taste the barrel. You get that aged flavor in there. You get your malt. You can taste the grain. Um, from what I can tell, what I heard, I think the bitter spiciness that you get from this is contributed by the rye because supposedly there is some rye in here. The green label, I believe, is 95% rye, but the orange label also contains rye as well. So I'm gonna throw a little bit of ice in here. If I notice anything different. in the ice definitely kind of calm down the spiciness you still get the spiciness at the tail end after you swallow kind of the aftertaste on your taste buds but from what I can tell is it really brings out that barrel aged taste you definitely can taste the wood I'd say the sweetness and bitterness comes out a little bit better with the ice in there but it does tone down the spiciness as you can see the color changed a little bit but not by much but um yeah this is definitely a very good bourbon very clean very good for going down like I heard some say it's a good cock cocktail mixer because there's so much going on with this bourbon because it contains rye and stuff compared to like Jack Daniels or Maker's Mark which is mainly all wheat I think it is there's no rye in those so it's a more of a straightforward bourbon while this one has more of a characteristic so it can actually <coughs> alter your drinks a little bit when you're making drinks like cocktails and stuff like that but I guess I would have to go on and get give this bourbon a rating because this bourbon is so tasty and I like the notes that I find in it even though the spiciness can be kind of intense especially when you're drinking it straight I still would have to give this an A minus very good bourbon in my opinion I would definitely recommend you guys out there to go and pick a bottle up it is decently priced I would say it's it's a higher quality than Jim Bean or Jack Daniels, but the pricing is not too far off from those brands. But until next time, YouTube, thanks for watching.